Hey you guys, so today we are looking at this which is the original superheroes King Features number one, The Phantom, The Ghost Who Walked from NECA. Yes, Ooh, that was an intro. The Ghost Who Walks, the 80th anniversary. Have The Phantom number one on the side there. On the back we have the mystery, the myth of the ghost who walks began in 1536 when the father of British sailor Christopher Walker was killed during a pirate attack, swearing an oath on the skull of his father's murderer to fight evil, Christopher became the Phantom, a legacy that would continue for centuries, passing from father to son. Kit Walker, the 21st Phantom, lives in Skull Cave and his wife Diana Palmer, two loyal animal companions, Wolf devil and horse hero wolf devil and horse hero right and Guran his best friend since boyhood the figure is largely based on the phantom interpretation by the legendary comic artist Cy Barry the original superhero line of figures is Necker's loving tribute to the giants of comic books and pop culture includes the oath skull the whip handguns glow-in-the-dark eyes, two short muzzle flashes and interchangeable hands. Ooh, glow-in-the-dark eyes. So on the back here we have King of the Impossible, Flash Gordon, and Ming the Merciless down there. And obviously the Defenders of the Earth versions of these characters, which we still haven't seen Lothar or Mandrake the Magician. Come on, Necker, where are these two? Because you've got nothing else to put in the set with them. Just two random figures that... Yeah, I, uh, these are the two that maybe m a lot of people won't collect because Flash and Phantom and Ming are kind of, yeah, n not a lot of people know Mandrake. You know what I mean? So, I have one of the old serial things, you know, the, the old black and white things you used to show on a some Saturday morning. I've got one of those of Mandrake. It's kind of fun. Anyway, I'm gabbling. Original superheroes, there he's on the side. Yes, this looks pretty cool. Right, let's open the box with a the knife. There it is, and remember, open it from the bottom. Da, da, da. This looks cool. There we go. I do have uh, Flash and Ming on the way. I did get the two. Um, they did an, another version of them, which was exclusive to um, NECA's website. They were supposed to be Comic Con exclusives. And I got those, and they're the same figures, they just don't have any, like, of the weapons with it. So imagine this with no none of the hands, none of the guns, none of this. Just the figure, and maybe one gun. I was like, eh. So, <clears throat> I sold them on eBay. Shh. Yeah. Oops, there was a bit at the bottom there. I should have cut through that. You see, too busy talking, not paying attention. Now the ghost can walk. <laughs> yes. Over there. So we have... Ghost to walks. That phantom. Not the Billy Zane version, obviously. He's got his stripy pants on there. Good old superhero thing of the day. They always had to have... Underpants over the top. Like Superman and people like that. Batman. Well, it makes me laugh that everybody thinks Batman wears black. Doesn't he wore grey? For years. Yeah. It's a very muscular body on there. Now I am going to try. We just charge up the eyes. Oh, there is. So it is quite dark in here at the moment. Let's see if. Oh. I forgot to keep myself. Do the eyes glow? Oh yeah, they do. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, you can kind of... That's better. You can see them glowing. Wow. That is kind of cool. Right, put the lights back on. Yeah. Now, does he stand? Oh, look at that. Straight out of the box. There is the ring. Well, the ring's on both fingers, actually. So look what we've got in the box. So there is, like I said, that. We'll take that out of the way because 
it is getting in the way of oh, that's again held down with excuse me while I just cut through all the sellotape or sticky back plastic or whatever they call it where you are because I don't know what I was saying sellotape a product placement Right, so we have the skull, a little muscle flashes, muzzle flashes, not muscle flashes, it sounded like I said that, I said muscle, Mus muzzle, mountain, there we go, wow, they have used a lot of sellotape, I always think the guns should be, um, what is it they're using, Supernatural, the gun they have. I want to say Colt. Somebody will tell me what the gun in Supernatural is. I know somebody will. And I use that one because that's the skull holding one. Right, so in the extra hands we have two uh, gun holding hands. There we go two gun holding hands as you can see then we have a whip holding hand then we have a skull holding hand we also have a whip the whip is a metal wire with a really nice you can see that there you go oh. so I presume is there a hook or anything on there no, but I'm, I'm sure you can either hold it in his hand or wind it up and make it look like a... Right, so the guns do fit nicely into the holsters. That's pretty cool. Yeah. The skull, let's have a look at the skull. That is a very nice skull. The jaw does open. There is a hole... And it is a proper hole in the head. Hmm, that's got a peg in there. Ooh, just of interest. I'm sure, maybe not him, but I'm sure there's a figure somewhere that that has come from. Or will fit on. Hmm. If anybody knows which figure that's come from, or you could put it to, that would be interesting. Yes. Right, so let's see. You see, I'm, I'm kind of wanting to have him. Let's do it on camera. Um, you see, I always worry when I do this on camera because I'm just I'm going to hit the light, knock the lights over. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put one skull hand in and one gun hand. So, shift those over there. Uh, go on. They are kind of sturdy. Alright, fingers crossed. Oh yeah, that goes in pretty well. So... I'm kind of thinking for that action pose on the shelf that. What do you think? Let's move that whip out of the way. I never thought I'd say that in a video. Let's move the whip out of the way. Yeah, I like that. That is a nice, yeah. And he's very sturdy. He's definitely going to stand. Yeah. Hmm. Cool. Right. Chuck that down there a sec. Let's take the gun out of his hand. Let's do a quick... Ow. Ooh, got my finger caught in there. Um, let's do a quick... Um, posability check. Um, okay, so head tilt, swivel around that way, forward, backwards, yeah. Elbow up, has a joint there, and so yeah, pretty good amount of maneuverability in that. Obviously, has crunch, and there's clicks in there, so you can move that backwards and a forwards. Leg up, leg out. 
Right, let's see if we can get this gently. There we go. Not quite the butt kicker, but he's, he's, he's got close. He's nearly there. Yeah. It is a bit of a shame that the colour doesn't quite match when you open the joints, but well, we can't have everything. I guess they do the wash on them when they're posed. When they're, you know, just stood. Da, da, da. Yeah, that is nice. If the flash and ming are as good as this, I'm going to be happy. They look good. The ones that I wouldn't group looked quite good. So, right, just out of interest, we have the previous version, which is kind of the same except that the belt on this one obviously is a different belt, and he has what's that? Paint scrape. Okay, there you go. Cause it. It is pretty much the same figure. Yep. Just with a pair of pants on. But I needed this to go in my Defenders of the Earth Ret set. This is going with the other set. So I'm going to have two flashes and two mings anyway. I did look at the um, the other ones that they'd done. They'd done a um, like a movie version of Flash, but I, I just it didn't it didn't really look that different. Oh, tell you what. Let's have a look at the muzzle flashes. So, put the gun on there. Take said muzzle flash. Hmm. That looks. That looks pretty comic book, doesn't it? Pew 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 pew. Yeah, I like that. So I wonder what other figures I could do in this this sort of set. Yeah, I'd like a Doc Savage. Um, Green Hornet would be nice. Um, yeah, quite a few characters out there that I can think of. If you can think of any, put them in the comments underneath. Yeah, I like it. That is definitely going to be the way he's going to be posed on my shelf, looking all mean and moody so yeah so if you're new here and you've never seen one of my videos before where have you been hmm? where anyway while you're here hit that subscribe button down there it is a huge help to the channel hit the like button if you've already subscribed and just hit the like button as well it's all fun uh yeah share this with your friends tell everybody about it um like i say i have the flash and the ming on the way so necker you are doing a great job at the minute um, I feel like all I'm reviewing lately is, is NECA figures, but um, that's what you guys seem to want to see. So I'm, I'm throwing them out there. Every time I put on anything else, it doesn't get views. So, yeah. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Definitely. Definitely a nice figure. So, yeah. Like I said, please, please, please hit that subscribe button. It's a big help. Hope you all have a great day. Hope you all have a great night. And me and the Phantom here. We'll see you on the next video. Bye now.